All right, Jamie, when the Ozarks expects heavy rain like this, the Army Corps of Engineers begin looking for when it might have to release water from area dams. Teller 10, Sydney Moran got an inside look today at their process to prevent major flooding. She is live now from Table Rock Dam. Sydney? The spillway gates are closed right now, guys, but if there is any flooding event, those engineers will open them partially. Now inside the facility, engineers are also working to make sure that the region has enough power. Inside Table Rock Dam, you'll hear sounds of generators hard at work, powering electricity for southern Missouri. Hydropower can turn on in an instant and supply that peak demand power to the power grid. Same thing it did during that polar vortex or, or all summer long. Although outside the dam is quiet now. After heavy rainfall, you can hear water crashing through the spillway gates. So the White River dams were um, installed after the floods of the 1920s because every time it would rain, these rivers would swell up and destroy communities and livestock and crop. The White River dams include Table Rock, Bull Shoals, Norfolk, and Beaver dams. Because of them, Jay Townsend with the Army Corps of Engineers in Little Rock says floods have been avoided in the region. But even when they fill up, every inch and every foot you start raising the gates, it buys us more time. We start getting more storage out of the reservoir, so we're making smaller releases to avoid larger releases. And then once we get back down to the top of the flood control pool, we close them and allow the water to pass. Since 2008, Townsend says the region has seen more rainfall in the spring. He says more water isn't necessarily a bad thing until it threatens agriculture. The downstream agricultural interests in eastern Arkansas, that area is uh, the number one rice producing area in the United States, only second to China in rice production. And so these series of dams protect that interest. The White River dams also work to support power for seven states. So almost every day at five o'clock, we're going to be generating um, in most places to meet those peak demands. Same thing when you wake up in the morning. A large effort to keep towns running and farms from flooding. Engineers say they are not expecting to open the spillway gates for this storm. Reporting in Taney County, Sydney Moran, Ozarks First.